Hello, this is just a quick video to show you how you can do a backup and restore of the circuit when you don't have access to the lovely components site. So first things first, I'm going to turn on my circuit. Pressing the scales, note and velocity button to put in bootloader mode. There we go. Now, for this, we're going to use the SysX librarian from Snoise, which is free and you can just download it. Now, in order to do a backup, I need to send some SysX data to the circuit and then receive the reply, which SysX librarian doesn't seem to actually do. However, I found a neat workaround, which is to run two copies. Um, now, your Snoise will almost certainly be installed in the Applications folder. However, always being awkward, I've put mine somewhere else, so I put it in there. Now I'll need a terminal window. There we go. Don't know why it's so slow, it seemed to spin up all my hard drives there for some reason. Anyway, if I cd into this directory, it'll make it much quicker for me. There we go, good. So in order to run two copies, I need to use this open minus n command. X librarian. Good, there's one copy, and there's the other copy. So one of these is going to be my sender, and one of these is going to be my receiver. And one thing you might want to do is make sure that the pause between played message is zero milliseconds. Uh, you don't want it. You don't want it with a big pause. It'll be very, very slow if you do that. Next thing is we need the sysx message. Now, if you don't have a handy sysx file for that, you can make one. Um, I'm going to use the online hex editor here. Um, you'll want to do this ahead of time. If you don't have internet access, you won't have access to this either. And so the message you want, it's fairly short, it's only 23 bytes, and it's F0, 00, 20, 0 a 0 d 0 0 0 0 0 0 f 7 okay and I'm going to export that and right now let's give it a more useful name this back up. Uh, uh, there we go. Okay, so on this one we're going to receive, so we'll say record many. On this one we're going to do the send. So copy that over. And then we press play. It sent it and this is receiving the message now. And as you can see that's nice and quick. And we're done. How cool is that? Let's dump this one. And now for restore, um, you simply play back a SysX that you've recorded. Um, word of warning though, this is much slower than the web download. Anyway, if I press play, now it's restoring my backup. And that'll take a few minutes. So I'll, uh, I'll pop back in a few minutes. And there we go, all done. Uh, as you can see, quite a lot slower to do a restore than on the website, but obviously it has the advantage of not needing the website. 
so thanks for watching and I hope that that's helpful.